I'm a walk-in tattoo artist. This is like a Tuesday for me. It's a bunch of line work, which has to be clean because there's no hiding behind bad line work. And it's a black and gray tattoo, something that I enjoy doing. So I'm gonna give it all I got. I gotta go see these live tattoos. Check out how they're doing. Hey Ryan, how's it going? How are you? All right, so Ryan, America assigned you fine line black and gray, which yes. is your specialty. Yes. You gotta be happy about that. I am thrilled. I mean, I have a very specific style and didn't have the opportunity to show it while filming. And, you know, today's the day. Now I get to show everything that I can So you didn't really get to do your style, yet you made it to the finale. Yes. Good luck. Thank you. All right. Well, there you have it. And guys, no pressure, okay? But you have about 20 minutes left to tattoo. Ryan, come on up. Okay, Ryan, you were assigned fine line black and gray, which is your specialty. Let's check out the judges. Well, Ryan, I wish the picture on the screen was a little bit out of focus, because when you look at this tattoo up close, it is so much detail and so much line work. The fact that you were, the fact that you were able to put that much into it in this amount of time was a, a pretty big risk, but it came out super smooth. It really shows your own style, and, it, and it's really cool that you got to do something to be all yourself and for your last tattoo on the show. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm happy that you got to do something to really show off and let us see what you do. Um, you've done great tattoos all season. This is another one that lines you right up in that category. You've had a great outing. The question is, fine line black and gray, there's a lot of bold lines in there. And I just feel like you stepped a little bit out of what was asked. But again, an amazing tattoo. Just the word fine line comes to mind. All right, Ryan, thank you. Step back. America has decided. The first spot in the top two goes to Ryan Ashley. Competition this fierce. If you can't draw, you don't stand a chance. So for this tattoo, there is no tracing. You must draw your design completely from scratch. You cannot digitally alter them. Without technology to hide behind, it will be apparent who has the drawing chops and who belongs on the chopping block. But that is not all. Wow. To prove you can compete at the level of a master, you must be able to draw and tattoo anything that is thrown at you. So today, the opposing coaches are calling the shots. Oh my damn. Coaches, together you have the power to assign the artists on the opposing team a subject and a style. This is your last chance to set your team up for success and make sure an artist from another team is sent packing. Steven Anthony, what style and subject will Josh tattoo? Oh, I'm gonna get I want a fine line. Realistic clipper shit. A fine line, black and gray, realistic clipper shit. <laughs> you dicks. But I was like thinking in my head, I'm like, what are they gonna try to get me to draw that I can't draw? You know, there's nothing. It's hard to trip you up. Steve's convinced I can't do lines and I'm here to prove him wrong. All the pressure's on me right now. I'm the only one left and I'm not letting my coach down. And feels super steady today. Good. Everything feels super nice. Good. Focus on every line, Josh. Today I'm going straight to the point, sharp, clean, bold. I cannot let anything be up for question in this. Three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. All right, bro, we're all done. Stoked. Oh my God. 
I love it. You're the man. Artists, to earn a spot in the finale, you had to prove you have the stamina and the skills to compete at the elite level of the Masters. Josh, you're in the finale. Woo. Let's take a look at your tattoo anyway. You were assigned a fine line, black and gray, realistic clipper ship. The majority of your line work is pretty straight and tight and it definitely looks like this thing is blowing in the wind. This tattoo came out super clean, really legible, probably better than any other ship we've seen done in this room. Thank you. All right, Tim and Tony, one of you will move on to the finale and one of you will be eliminated. To earn the final spot in the finale, you must survive a tattoo marathon. Oh my God. You will each face off tattooing three 90-minute tattoos, each in a completely different style. Oh, man. And in the ultimate test of versatility, the power to call the style and subject is completely out of your hands. Tiffer, since you are in the first spot in the finale, you will call the style and subject for the first tattoo. Tiffer, what style and subject are you calling for the first tattoo? Fine line script, the word beauty. You have 90 minutes to tattoo a fine line script assigned by Tiffer. And your time starts now. Let's do it. Get it, Tim. This is where I excel. I work fast, I can do any style you throw at me, and I guarantee you, no one in this place can hang. You already got it. Cool, so as long as it's bulletproof, I'm good. Yeah, this font looks weak. 45 minutes left, guys. I am basically the underdog in this entire situation. Tony does little bangers. He's from a street shop. 90 minutes is what I take to get most of my line work done. I'm gonna have to pull out tricks that I've never even done before. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Machine's down, time is up. Get ready for your next tattoo. That is crisp. Tony and Tim. You had to survive a tattoo marathon to earn the last spot in the finale. Let's see how you did. Tony, you're up first. Let's look at your fine line script tattoo. The double line on this tattoo really allows for you to put the highlight in, shade it from the top and the bottom, leave a little skin break in the middle, and the openness between each letter really makes everything legible. Nice job. Thank you. I, I take pride in lettering. Tim, you're next. All right, Tim, let's get into the script. It's definitely legible. Just looking for fine line script. You do have the fine line in the force filter on the outside, but since you colored this in solid black, you kind of covered up the fine lines. But I think it's clean. Thanks, man. It's time to determine who earned the last spot in the finale. I got to say, Tony kills it in the script. The flourishes are nice to look at, but I think it's a distracting piece technically. I don't think it's any better than Tim's. All right, judges, I need a final decision for a win. I like elements of all these tattoos. When I look at them together as a collective, just looking at versatility, I gotta go with Tony. There are certain elements of certain tattoos that outshine others. My vote's for Tony. Tony. The judges have decided. Tony, you have earned the last spot in the finale. Yeah. Good job, bud. This week, we are testing technical application. Back to the basics. Yeah. It's just another day for us. We can do this. If you don't have good technical application, then you'll be doing sloppy tattoos. Plain and simple. If you can't make a clean line, if you can't do full saturation, your shit's gonna look bad. Mm -hmm. No, that's Bob. No more scratchy white. Today, you must prove your strength by facing off against another artist in a head-to-head -head style battle, regardless of region. Damn. I don't want to face off against you guys. There will be five different head-to-head face-offs, each in a completely different style. Okay. Fine line, black and gray. Okay, you guys. American traditional. And Jimmy will be doing traditional. Japanese. Biomech. Nuts. I'm the biomech guy. I specialize in that shit. I don't think anybody in this room can compete with me in biomech. And tribal. Damn. Tribal? Yeah. No. <laughs> one by one, the artists from the team with the fewest remaining competitors will pick which style they want to tattoo first, and so on and so forth, until every battle has been filled. No. Frank. Fine line, black and gray. 
Wow. I don't want to go against my own team for any reason. He knows right now it's going to be hard. If I get a chance to take out somebody from the West, I'm doing it. Angel. I'm going to do fine line black and gray. I didn't come here to prove that I'm a good black and gray artist, but I did come here to kick Frank's ass. I'm going to have my name on it. I know. She said it was going to be black and gray. Yes, sir. The challenge right. is accepted by Angel. We're both doing black and gray today. And that's kind of her strong suit. Are they going to compare yours to hers? Yes, they are. I'm going to show her how to do what she does <laughs> best. I'm not well versed in fine line black and gray. I have to do this tattoo cleanly and take her out. I know Angel's bringing a really cool tattoo today, but I mean, like, this is, like, twice the size and way more, like, fine line. What's up, Frank? Not much. Shaking you out. She's focused. Look at that. I know. Laser focus. Dig it. He's the guy I gotta beat. He's good? He's good at something. I don't think he does black and gray primarily, so. Well, I'm glad I'm here and not there. Yeah, right? It's judgment day. Here we go, dude. There you go. All right, today the artists are facing off in a head-to-head -head style battle, and we're judging these things blind. I know I'm in trouble, but that's obvious. Let's see how they did. Fine line black and gray face off. That's mine. It's very strange. It's very piecemeal. There is some smooth shading. I like the deep set black, but the hair is very, very messy. There's this fine line kind of outlining in there, and then everything's just messy. Let's take a look at the second fine line black and gray. I like the drawing. The woman is beautiful, but as far as hitting a fine line challenge, this didn't really work out. This line that's around these broken pieces doesn't look like a fine line at all. On the edge of the tiger's face, there's no fine line line work visible. Damn. That's like probably my favorite tattoo I've done since I've been here. It's time to reveal the winner of each style battle. Frank and Angel, you faced off tattooing fine line black and gray. Let's take a look at who won this style battle. That's mine. Frank, I think you just did a huge tattoo that got out of hand. Angel, your design is a little more cohesive. Congratulations, Angel. That means that you're safe from elimination. Bob, Angel, Jarrell, and Kelly, you'll choose the style and subject that Jimmy must tattoo. Oh. Whoa. Is it style and subject? Style and subject. This is crazy. Bob. Jarrell, Kelly, and Jimmy, you'll choose the style and subject that Angel must tattoo, and so on and so forth. It's gonna be wild. Man. Discuss what style and subject you want to assign Bob. Let's go. One thing that has been consistent this entire time is line work issues with Bob. So I'm trying to think if he can achieve fine line anything. If they think Bob can't do lines, they're wrong. You're gonna be okay. All right, Jarrell, what's it gonna be? A fine line, black and gray, realistic lionfish. So fine line only? Yep, no shader. A lionfish is covered in stripes, has crazy pectoral fins that are all frilly like seaweed, and also has these spiny spikes on its back. He's Every view of a lionfish is a hard view of a lionfish. Just look at the anatomy of that thing. It's just a camouflage piece of seaweed. Let the fun begin. I'm screwed right now. I have to learn a new technique in tattooing. I've never done any fine line black and gray in my life. Mastering a technique, you know, at the same time as tattooing it is a pain in the ass. You feel confident about this one? I don't know. It's kind of intimidating. Just get it over with. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Oh, you made it. Damn, that's a sick tattoo. Today, your opponents called the shots. Three of you will move on to the finale, and two of you will be packing your machines. Let's see how you did. West, let's start with you. Bob. For a single needle tattoo with no other shader, you do a really clean take on this thing. You captured the look of this fish by the shape of the body. It has a roundness to the body of the shape, and it's because that highlight you left through the stripes and how rich the darkness gets. You totally kill it in this tattoo, man. Thank you. Good job, Bob. Thank you. It's a rough one you guys threw at me. All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Bob got called out on something that most people would really blunder, and he killed it and everything in that tattoo is cohesive and finished and applied properly. And for that reason, 
I'm gonna go with Bob. And my vote is also Bob. Congrats. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Bob. Wow. And you were worried. Oh, I was. Yeah. We are kicking off this epic competition with a three-round tattoo gauntlet. Oh, my oh. oh, I hate the word gauntlet. Three rounds of tattooing. In each round, you will have the opportunity to earn safety. Succeed, and you will be safe from elimination. Fail, and you must tattoo in the next round. Oh, God. The first round is all about speed and versatility. No. Each of our judges have created a line drawing that you must tattoo. Man. They will determine not only what you'll be tattooing, but also what style you must tattoo. Oh my God. When I make a drawing, I know exactly how I'm gonna pull that tattoo off, because I drew it. Now if someone else draws it, I have to try to rewire my brain into how they would do it, and that's hard. Each of you have a decision to make. You can only pick one of their line drawings to tattoo. <gasps> Strategy is key. You will only have 60 minutes to tattoo. What? What? Oh. Are you kidding me? I could barely finish a tattoo in five or six hours. What am I going to do in 60 minutes? <sighs> Ryan, what did you design for these artists? Wow. Oh my God. We are going to be doing a jeweled beaded snowflake full of super fun, perfect circles, straight lines, symmetry, and fine line black and gray. I want to see the crispiest, most delicate, detailed line work that you guys can produce. Perfect circles are so hard to tattoo. This design's a trap. I have to get safety this first round. We don't know what round two is going to bring. We may have to tattoo blindfolded. Who knows? I'm going to be tattooing you until literally the final second. I'm being really strategic in my decision making here. I know I can do an outline in 60 minutes and present something really clean, so that's my plan. You're not done. No, I'm not. Oh my god. I'm just being nosy. I would be nervous to walk around. You must be like efficient though with uh, your time. For the most part. Okay, I'm impressed. We're concerned. I'm not sure how to receive it just yet. <laughs> 15 minutes. That shit looks beautiful. My work is immaculate. Me. I want to be nosy. I want to see what everybody's doing. Everybody's shit looks sick. Being nosy around it. Eh? Yeah, it's <laughs> gotta. Today, you had to prove your speed and your versatility. Tattooing a 60 minute tattoo designed by one of the judges in the style they assigned. Quickest hour of my life. Let's start by critiquing the artist that chose Ryan's design. Ryan called fine line black and gray. It's harder than it looks. There is legitimately nowhere to hide, but the higher the risk, the higher the reward. Here we go. Hiram, you're up first. For a fine line black and gray challenge, I feel like it's very dark, very chunky. And unfortunately, what I asked you guys for was the most delicate, intricate line work. I'll do better. Thank you very much. Katie, you're up next. OK. If you're going to take this approach to turn in a single outline, that's ballsy. And you almost had it. But little things like on the bottom, you see the two teardrops. If you really look, they're not the same shape. They get a little bit wonky. I'm gonna throw up. Chris. Alrighties. Overall, it's just really, really, really dark. The challenge was how delicate can you make it? And that's the failed part of it. Does anyone here deserve safety? I just don't think anyone has convinced me enough that they deserve safety. Yeah, I agree with you. Bullshit. That means no one who tattooed Ryan's design earned safety. Hiram, Katie, Chris, you guys are all tattooing in the next round. That sucks. Put on your lab coats and your safety goggles because today you must create science tattoos. Oh, what the f is a science tattoo? God damn it. Whether it's atoms, chemical compounds, or double helix DNA strands, your canvases want tattoos with some of their favorite scientific imagery. They're gonna have some crazy ideas Tattoos. like every day. Germs, Let's DNA, see. what? 
I'm a walk-in tattoo artist. This is like a Tuesday for me. It's a bunch of line work, which has to be clean because there's no hiding behind bad line work and it's a black and gray tattoo, something that I enjoy doing. So I'm gonna give it all I got. Something different we haven't seen from Brian. Yeah, yeah. Having fun? Stressful, but fun. It's always life or death here. When I was younger, I wanted to be a pro surfer. I started getting tattooed. And a dude who tattooed me. We were talking about all these surf locations that he was going to. I was like, how did you get to travel and surf and do all that shit? And he said, tattooing. And I was like, that's my ticket. I'm here to challenge myself. I took this as an opportunity to lean into my fears. The idea of being criticized by the industry leaders is scary, but you should lean into your fear and hopefully you grow from that. It's a pretty cool uh, full circle for myself. Today we tested composition with science tattoos. Let's see how you did. Brian. The drawing's cool. It feels like an old encyclopedia. I love the handwriting and the little equations you got. We haven't really got to see you pull these like really little fine lines. You definitely pulled out a lot more tricks than we've seen in the past challenges. 